And we're live with the LOT site clinic with a special today with Bibi, the link builder. Oh. You maybe know her from a previous show with Rick Lomas that you for sure know from one of those many shows he's been before. And Sean today being Hello. one of the, let's say, guest clients. He's not the client of Bibi, not the client of Rick, but we look at his website and like we did for many, many other websites. And he's there to give us answers to exactly those pressing questions that we have when we look at that one link or that one page or this thing that looks really, really nasty. You don't have to name anyone, you know, for anything we find. I might. We'll of see how bad it is. I might, oh, I might start oh, dropping right. names, you know? You know, the good thing is you can always fix something really, really quick. And, you know, yeah. Rick Lomas is the fixer, the link audit guy. BB is the link building queen or, or, or as I would say. And so anything that um, we find, we can sort out and fix really quick. And Definitely. anyone out there who's not seen this before, we'll have other sites as well. You have queued up already that will then randomize. But if you want to get the prime position like Sean, then make sure you come to the next show and, you know, work with us as we speak. So I'm going to share my screen right away and we okay. can start here. Oops. Oh, wow. That's like Inception. Oh, wow. Yeah, something like... All right, so you should see my screen with... Uh, no, that's Manhattan Elite Prep. We had that last week or, or so. Now, yeah, with uh, Judith. Judith Lewis. Yeah, Judith, exactly. So switching here to Alchemy Leads. So what is this website about, Sean? What do you do? Um, so it's uh, about marketing. Uh, typically, we focus on like content marketing and SEO. So it does talk a little bit about, uh, in general, SEO and, and goes into a little bit more depth into each of our services, like uh, content marketing, link building, um, mm -hmm. web development, PPC. And then, uh, and then you know, we uh, we've updated the site and we blog pretty consistently, um, and we've been getting some good uh, leads lately. So we've been getting like ten, about ten leads a month uh, coming okay. from SEO, coming from organic. So Very it seems good. like it's starting to work, but uh, obviously, you know, I will take any criticisms uh, and try to improve on them. Yeah. How do I find the blog? Uh, so it's actually at the bottom, uh, all the way at the bottom. There's a a link to the blog roll page. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. What are these logos? Are those your clients or where you got mentioned on? Uh, yeah. So those are in the past places I've gotten mentioned on or clients have gotten mentioned on. Uh, pretty standard. And uh, yeah, that's going back. Like uh, I was on CNN. I had a client on CNN video, like on a uh, interview back in like 2013. So maybe that's the oldest one. But yeah, they're all fairly recent. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I wanted to check out that blog. And if you say you've, if, if you're doing a lot on the blog, I would maybe feature that higher if you want people yeah. to actually read that, to find mm -hmm. that. Because if um, if you're blogging consistently, if you're providing uh, quality here, if you're providing uh, you know help for someone who's not sure if you actually know what you're doing, then mm -hmm. you should highlight that up there. I mean, he will find the logos at some point, but. Anyone can put the logos up there. Hmm. When we talk about expertise block, when you want to build trust with a visitor, with a guy who doesn't know you, then um, that block is a fantastic way. Um, of course. And then, it's exactly your color. It's like black and orange. Yeah. Black. I love those colors. I So back in the day, we used to be, uh, well, we used to be like a lighter blue and orange. And then uh, with this design, we wanted to go a little darker. So we instead went with a, a more black, black and grays and orange. Yeah, obviously I love orange. Yeah, orange makes everything pop. Yeah. I did see white text that got a little bit, maybe it's Christoph's screen. So if you go mm -hmm. up, yeah, go up. Uh, oh, right there. Oh, wait, is it there? Yeah. No, that's... It's the other, it's the homepage. Sorry, can you go to the oh. home? Mm -hmm. There, do you see how it's over, over the clouds? Oh, gotcha. Oh, that's a good pickup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You maybe even have a warning in um, in Google Search Console about stuff like that, but depending on the on the zoom size, you see uh, the, the the text is hiding here or hiding is is, is overlapping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it looks better on mobile um, with that specific like the uh, the header text, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, we can see because it condenses it down. Yeah, gotcha. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and oh, um, it's mobile. Yeah. 
do, do yeah, you and it has a, it has a, a zero second load time, which I'm very happy about. Okay. Nice. Of course, that's Great. all. Oh, now we're going to check it. I guarantee you we're going <laughs> to check it. Like, oh, you have a 50 second load time. <laughs> <laughs> the server's how, how does it feel uh, to be in the hot seat, Sean? Yeah, it's, it's, ner it's actually nerve wracking. So I don't get nervous. <laughs> You know, I really don't get nervous. Like I, I can talk to people all day, but uh, but yeah, it's kind of like a, a vulnerable feeling. Like that doesn't look so good what I'm seeing right there. But uh, oh. I did recently do a test, and it said it loaded in zero seconds. So I'll I'll get my guys to work on this. But yeah, yeah, I did that for the slash blog for the for the blog area. Mm -hmm. This is uh, when the homepage uh, is is one story, but of course, if you want the the blog to rank better, that would be another thing to look into. And yeah. I'm, guessing this is also because you probably have a lot of database queries behind that as you you know this is probably wordpress where you have all these posts coming up um mm -hmm. that could slow things down yeah but um this is what i you know something else ah yeah look at this calculating the roi for ico how to yeah. know if it's worth it Image source Pixabay is certainly not the best starter for your Excel ah, for the for the yeah. summary here. You know, yeah. this here should sell the post. Why should I click here? Oh yeah, I don't Why even have the summaries in there. You're right. Mm -hmm. They're all just taken from the content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, automatically. Yeah, excerpts. All right. All right. So uh, yeah, see the homepage looks much better. Really, really fast. Time to interactive zero point nine. Total blocking mm -hmm. time. It's nothing. All green, green, green. You can always improve a little bit. Uh, some mm -hmm. render block resources that are yeah WordPress. They mm -hmm. even have a special feature in here. When they discover WordPress, they already know the flaws of WordPress. Yeah. Uh, house repo here. Yeah. So let's look at the links. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> just see that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, All right. You know, I think I, I, I want to. You know, Rick, we should try to guide them through. You know, what they find on this dashboard with all this stuff. This is obviously for us um, a lot easier. And um, yeah, for me, it's very overwhelming. Like, there's, mm -hmm. I don't even know where to start. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So this huge detox risk here, I think, speaks for itself. It's above yeah. a thousand. So based on what we adjusted it to, you probably have some, maybe not a manual action um, in Google Search Console, especially since they're gone at the moment. Oh yeah. Eric, they're 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 working on it. In, but uh, you might have some keywords or some pages that are not ranking as good as they should. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we can bring that down for sure. Um, what we see here is that we actually analyzed 100% of all okay. the link data that we find. Um, depending on which tool you use, you have different segments and we try to combine as many as different data sources together. So sometimes uh, we get the question, maybe not with 246 domains, but uh, sometimes we get the question, uh, where do you see all these links? Where do you have that from? And it's very vital that you do an analysis and look at everything. If you just look at, let's say, 10% of the links, and those 10% of the links are great, doesn't mean the other 90% are great as well. So that's why we try to maximize that, that backlink profile coverage. The number of domains, the number of backlinks, I think is uh, fairly um, straightforward to understand. When we click here, we can see all the domains that you have links on. Um, just the domains and we can later drill down into the pages and the specific links on those pages here and as we can see here um that's 703 links that we still show after some filtering going can on. i can i ask a question mm -hmm. of when course. you when you click the that's uh the links the domains mm -hmm. yeah um what's usually the first thing that you do like do you sort it on uh, some kind of authority or do you look for certain mm -hmm. words or how do you yeah. um what I did without even talking about yeah, uh, exactly. is, is to click on source domain power trust. Right. Po power by trust, power multiplied by trust. These are actually two metrics in one. It, it's, it's there to easier have one number again, but in reality, it's two dimensions. It's something very unique to LRT where we measure not just the strength, like page rank or domain authority or domain rating, um, 
in other tools, we also measure the trust of that link. And that's very important if you think about some trusted links helping you, but being on weak pages. If you have a link on a sub 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 page of a very good domain, it doesn't mean that link is bad just because it's on a weak page. It actually means that you can take one of those links and build links to it. For example, right, and uh, quite quite often people think that weak links are automatically bad links or or even spammy links, but that's not true. Uh, in fact, a lot of natural links, uh, really, you know, old crusty sites that have terrible yeah. design, are on on pages that have uh, a, a really low trust. Uh, sorry, a really low power, but have some trust. And of course, when we dive deeper, you know, um, I just give you a quick. Uh, 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 look, all these metrics we can pick specifically, for example, uh, sorry, the trust page, the source page trust. And instead of just looking at an aggregate for mm -hmm. the page, we can specifically look for links that are, wait, all the way to, no, I'm confused myself. Where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> It happens to me as well. Just let me go back and sort this. That's yeah. good to know. Source page yeah. trust. Oh no, it's the first one here, actually. Mm. And there it is. You see the source page trust being zero is never mm. a good sign. And I show you some trust. See here, we got some trusted links from uh, review pages, tech review co mm. that might have a lower power than in other places. Um, here is, for instance, one on self growth that could oh, be yeah. a trusted page, but still for some reason uh, triggers a risky flag. It could be because- I know, I know why. Yeah. 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 Self growth Shoot. is one of the easiest links to get. It's yeah. basically a direct submit link. Okay. So I think- Everybody has them. Everybody has them. Yeah. It's. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it would be okay as a pillar link, maybe, but now I see that it can actually become a risk, right? Mm -hmm. Especially so if it says search engine optimization services in Los Angeles. Uh, <laughs> can't get yeah. more commercial yeah. than that. So <laughs> I would say yeah. that, that's a prototype of a money keyword. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah if, if, if you actually look at those links, the ones that say SEO, um, mm -hmm. whatever it is, um, there's, there's links on kind of um, Malaysian government sites and the Taiwanese government sites. If you look at those, uh, you'll be quite surprised. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Not quite like it. Yeah. Shall we drill down there? Yeah, let's check it out. At, uh, oh, to, to finish the dashboard here, um, the LRT Power Trust here first. Mm -hmm. uh, it says you have a Power Trust of three, but that's a power of three and a trust mm -hmm. of one. And oh, that okay. screams over optimization. It means you have links that are easier to get, maybe like the self growth one, mm -hmm. and you lack some trust. So the, the typically best setup for a website is if these two are in balance, a trust mm -hmm. of three and a trust uh, and a power of three. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Freshness indicator, I think speaks for itself. You know, mm -hmm. if this goes down and becomes brown or even red, you're working with really old data. Um, like in a lot of tools that don't recrawl. So that's mm -hmm. a quite a unique feature we have. Yeah, um, down here we have some issues where we have automated um, recommendations based on the data and the patterns that we already know about, negative oh, patterns and uh, uh, things like that. And we can go through those. Yeah, let's check those. Maybe pick one or an easy yeah. fix or not. Yeah. Uh, one, one very typical thing uh, is a negative SEO pattern here for links that have an unavailable status. Links on domains that are actually not crawlable at the moment. And mm. a lot of tools take these out of the equation. They say these links were deleted. They say these links are not there anymore. But the truth is we couldn't verify if they're not there anymore and neither can Google. And so there is a certain amount of time that has to pass until Google would really give up. And we don't know when they first saw it and if this is maybe just a glitch. But this is also a typical pattern in negative SEO because if you have a lot of toxic links and you shoot them at a, at a victim and then 
disconnect the domains so they cannot be recrawled. They stay in the system, as a Google engineer once said to me, they stay in the system for a long, long time, oh. maybe forever. So we recommend to always disavow these type of links. Just did you piss? Uh, did you piss someone off, Sean? I honestly, I probably have pissed off many, many people. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm sure I've been amazed. Oh, hey, hello, hello. I, I, I missed that one about the indirect uh, linking thing, but that's uh, the not sure where I learned it. But if I learned it from someone, it was probably Jim Boykin. So great to have you here, Jim. Um, yeah. So when we yeah so we recommend to disavow them anyways mm -hmm. because if you have this thing running we don't have any historical signals here because we just set this up a, a couple of days ago yeah. for you but uh if you let lt run on your website and these links come back mm -hmm. we are able to crawl them and if we find them to be good you'll be the first to know because you'll get a little signal here saying you have links that are probably okay you mm -hmm. have them disavowed, like this one here, high mm -hmm. potential links to improve. There is another warning that would come up uh, uh, maybe even after some minutes to say you have links disavowed that mm -hmm. actually look good. Typically, mm -hmm. when you have a thousand links that you disavow, maybe one or two of them could be good. So we find mm -hmm. that at a later point. Yeah. But Rick, you mentioned uh, the links about um, uh, from Malaysia and, and these. Uh, so here we, we see all sorts of crazy uh, domain extensions, right? When we mm -hmm. click here yeah, on yeah. source TLDs, yeah. we see Malay from the Malaysian government. You, you Is that one of your yeah. clients, Sean? Uh, no, but I think I know where I got all these. I think we got like a stupid amount of EDU links. Mm -hmm. I tried a, a new guy out like uh, two years ago. Uh -huh. And I think we have like a thousand EDU links on the site in Ahrefs. So uh -huh. I, kn I know those are like horrible link inserts from like the Thailand government, from every government uh, site, but they yeah. look like uh, edits. I don't know. They look, uh, they don't look good. Did they work? I mean, I rank, I have some good rankings. So I don't know, man. I'm, like we're on the first page for some good stuff. So maybe that's a factor. Maybe that's hurting me. I don't know. Do, do, do you rank your uh, SEO? Los Angeles. Yeah, so we show up on the local map. We're on the uh, we're like we get a lot of leads from that. Uh, then California marketing companies, marketing companies in California, uh, local SEO, just local SEO by itself. Uh, I think we're on the top ten. Uh, and then internal linking strategy. I think we're on the top ten, uh, and that's a blog page. And uh, yeah, so there's maybe like ten good keywords that are. And yeah, Los Angeles SEO is kind of like the crux. Different variations of that, and yeah. mixing with California and marketing. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I have to say um, these type of links. Oh, uh, sorry, Rick, Ricky. you want to say something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, hang on, just carry on for a minute. I'll, I'll just find it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Rick's diving deep into your site, Sean. It's dope. I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> this is what, what I signed up for. for. <laughs> this is what I signed up for. Yeah, but um, it's so nice to have you here because we we can we can judge the site, you know, from left to right. But yeah. if it has brought, if it has brought you leads, yeah, that's, the, so yeah. yeah that's uh, is, this is why this is funny because I was sort of thinking it would be like a nice little like oh yeah good job because we're getting leads. <laughs> but I, I know there's stuff in the background, right? Like I know there's a million things. So so Sean, uh, how do you feel with your link being next to? links about lumigan generic eye drops and uh <laughs> what is this animal cartoons and pills also Hard yeah, so these are all blog comments right <laughs> yeah it yeah. looks like it yeah. looks like uh, or, or or some kind of what is this if i click in here oh, ASR, you might not right? it. it's dangerous to click at some of these oh, yeah, don't. <laughs> i know this is ridiculous yeah, it, it looks like a really, really nasty side fan reviews. If you find weight loss pills at casino and some other type of pills next to your links, then this is what we call a bait neighborhood. And um, yeah, it's interesting yeah, that we have not spotted this here uh, yeah, yeah. as a risk link. Oh, uh, okay. Your link is removed already is what I just okay. see. So that's oh. good. Yeah, so that's why the risk is low. We, we it, it could come back though. So I would recommend to give us a thumbs down. Um, 
actually share.edu. Here's a new feature that we have where we can give it a thumbs down for that whole subdomain. Oh, nice. Right. I would give the whole subdomain because mm -hmm. I'm going to disavow it right now. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't look like a site or, or a domain that you can trust at all. Mm -hmm. And if at some point you would get a link there again, you can always undisavow. A lot of mm -hmm. people don't know that, but when you disavow a link, it just means uh, you upload that to Google. You have to run Link Detox Boost uh, to, to speed it up, or you can run Link Detox Boost to speed it up. But at some time, if you take that disavow command out of the disavow file, you can reverse this action. So, yeah. and that works really well, uh, especially if you find um, some really good links disavowed, uh, you can undo that damage uh, at a later point. Yeah, but this one, no, I would not yeah. recommend to keep yeah. this link. Agreed. And what I just did is I trained our um, AI system, we have a, a machine learning implemented for many, many years that learns from signals like that for your site, for your business, for your backlink profile in your account. And wow. so ad additional um, signals that will be generated will help us to help you uh, become more accurate. So any future links from that guy might be flagged. <laughs> no, I think after this conversation, I'm good. We're good. You know? Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, Rick, did you have your thing? If you, is your cooker cooker ready? Yeah. No, all I was going to say was that I mean, I, I, to to me, I, I would say that the actual phrase SEO services in Los Angeles and best SEO services in Los Angeles. Um, I mean, I mean, you're saying Sean that you do rank for those phrases, but I, I'm actually wondering if it's not because of these links because they the ones that actually say that really are quite horrible. Um, and I wonder if they're actually hindering rather than helping. I mean, if you just if you just look at one randomly, you'll see uh, you'll see they're not too good. There's also a ton of that um, uh, Alexa scraper stuff in this as well, which I'm not sure where uh, that comes from, but I do see that whenever well, I look at it. Yeah, sure it just it just turns up. But there's all sorts of weird things, and they're all like Indian domains. And, yeah, yeah. There's a ton of that. Um, what else? Uh, Did you want to share your screen, uh, Rick, maybe, or you? Uh, maybe. Uh, I might go on a different com computer. Um, oh, okay. No worries. No worries. Uh, but effectively, all I did was I looked at the uh, the anchor text that just says mm -hmm. SEO services in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I was just looking at the actual pages. Yeah. So all those links with SEO services that are still there, um, they only have an average risk across them all. So there are some good ones. There are some. some yeah, but even, 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 but do 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 have a look at one that you think might be good because the, they all seem terrible to me. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's do that. <laughs> it's funny because um, uh, Rick and me had a conversation. I think it was a week ago or something. We had a call, mm -hmm. and I had just questions to him about. Uh, some links and we both thought they were pretty terrible links but then they showed up pretty good in um, in the link research tool mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. actually some of my team uh, disagreed with me because they thought they were good links so it's it's an it seems to be like an ongoing conversation you know you sometimes I just have doubts about it so it's really hard to yeah um, yeah to make a hard conclusion because it could help Sean but it could also be the one thing holding him back. It, yeah, and it, it seems like there's so much up in the air. It could just be temporary, right? With all the no indexing stuff and all this stuff, who knows? You know, who knows when they get on their game and flip a switch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to agree <laughs> with you on this, Rick. Though uh, these type of links that we see here, uh, I, we we haven't looked through all of them. We could use mm -hmm. the screener to 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 speed that up a little bit. But you know, just l pulling up one example is, is here the, the worst comment spam that oh, I could imagine. Yeah? Oh. And it's, on the other hand, possible that these are okay. those links, you know, that are not hurting you yet. Yet, yeah. Right? That's so a, there yeah. are some 400s that are questionable. And uh, when you look at them, you say, oh, my God, I, I don't want it. But then the, the number of links that have the anchor text SEO services in them are only 15 left at the moment after this retrolling, mm -hmm. after we verified mm -hmm. them all. So there was some link churn mm -hmm. already. Um, 
when we take that active away, you had more links for that, uh, double. And a lot of your links don't even say SEO services or, or mm -hmm. at least not in that specific phrase. So mm -hmm. some variation might, uh, uh, might take place, uh, but it's actually not so many that uh, I would say they, they drag you down for a penalty. I would agree with uh, Rick though. Uh, I would be very careful with them because they look uh, over optimized. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna submit a disavow file, disavow file as soon as this is done. I'm gonna- Yeah. yeah. Also yeah. Because I think um, you know the 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 reputation that you have and <clears throat> who you are, it should be so easy to get really great links on a lot of marketing blogs. And oh yeah, I think you're a great person for that. So you know, don't waste your time on that yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. And I think uh, part of it is probably like in the beginning when I first started the agency, maybe two three years ago. Um, you know, you always think more is better. And, and just more and more and more uh, scale, scale, scale. So I think I may have even, you know, worked with the wrong team members and scaled them up. And, you know, so a lot of this stuff could be two years old, um, mm -hmm. but noticing it now, if I nip it in the bud now, you know, we get we get good links every month. We get, a, you know, two or three like really good links. So if I can disavow now and then continue that, hopefully in a year, yeah. everything looks much cleaner. Yeah, I think that would be great. Yeah. There was one other thing though, on the site itself, um, I don't really see you. So I don't know where you are. Like, is it, do you have a team page or? Oh yeah, we have a team page. So if you go to the about us, yeah, um, yeah. I think if you scroll all the way down, um, yeah. So we just have my name. I don't really put pictures. I'm kind of camera shy to be honest. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, okay. yeah, I don't know why I have a weird mental block. I think it's because every picture I have taken of me, like uh, the ones that are all professional, like, you know, with the white background and the suit, like my LinkedIn picture, oh my God, it just looks so corny and so like corporate, you know, like, hey, just stock smile. I hate that. So, so why, I why, not, why do you do that then? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Why don't take I, a picture that's you? I just don't like, I don't know. I feel like I'm not photogenic. So whenever I'm in front of a camera, I just, I just freak out. I freak out. Well, yeah. Maybe because you can look like a terrorist. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can look, or you know, or I could look like a stoner. Like if I put the hair down and people <laughs> see the hair, they're like, "Oh, this kid's smoking weed already." You know. Oh, is I mean? that you? Is that you, Sean? That is me. Oh, do I smoke? <laughs> who, is who that wants? the best picture you have online? No, here's no, another one. You are. <laughs> you is that you? you? Rick knows. Rick knows. So I gotta, you know, keep this. Uh, yeah. Your screen. You know. So, so here's the thing. Uh, I'm Google. I'm gonna Google you anyways. So, yeah. do you want to leave it up to me to figure out if this is you exactly. or, or the other guy? So, Did I'd rather think that because there are a lot of people with my last name. I think there's like a billion Indians with my last name. So I have to. Okay. Uh, oh, I wasn't yeah. aware that this is a popular name. It is a right. very it's like Smith. Oh. So, that's the thing. So now here with Internet Marketing Services and Sync, um, now. I wouldn't leave that up to Google Images to, to surf whatever, you know. So I got to get better pictures, you're saying? Not basically. just one picture, you know, just start okay. with any picture. I, I guess any picture is better than no picture. Okay. Um, and uh, if if you want someone to, to trust your description here, because otherwise this could be just some name, some guy and some yeah. nice copy. Yeah? yeah, this is what you want. You want to build trust to jump on a call uh, here then. Uh, with uh, yeah. schedule a call. How, and how do I schedule a call? How does this work? You're not, you're not sharing your uh, screen. Oh, I'm you. sorry. I'm sorry. No. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but uh, you fill out the form, I believe. So that once the form fills, that's kind of, I get back to you and I schedule. Um, and just to go back to something we talked about in the beginning when we talked about having the blog up top. Yeah. yeah. When we redesigned the website, part of the reason we did this is because we kind of want schedule a call to be, you know, if you want more information, if you want more, we want schedule to call to be like the natural, uh, you know, that's basically our conversion. That's the main way we get right. leads. Um, we do get calls where folks just call the number, but you know, uh, it's, I think. Lands here, so people. Exactly. But, but want to make it orange, the schedule call. So it pops. Oh, up. the button, the schedule it. That's a good. That's a good point. And where do I put my phone number so you can actually call me? Um, you don't. I think you just submit that. It sends me an email, and then I usually just jump on. Mm -hmm. So it just right. let me know. You know. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 
yeah, yeah. back to the to the backlink profile um risk this, uh, this, ri ri rick risk oh that would be a great name risk you know risky back <laughs> risky rick yeah there, there, is, there is something about this which is a little bit deceiving actually if you if you look at the uh anchor text cloud um yeah. by by count i mean what you see there straight away is 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 alchemy leads actually what you're looking at that by, oh sorry i was whatever the default one is um but it doesn't matter so so what you're seeing there the the third one down mm -hmm. is alchemy leads with a dot at the end right? and oh, you think yeah. well okay, you yeah. think well okay I, I, I want the brand to be really prominent now if you filter christoph if you filter to show the uh, exactly the mm -hmm. the links with alchemy leads and a dot so so he, all he anchors could. that are exactly alchemy leads dot yeah we had yeah. a lot uh, of those 260 yeah. links no 66 and this is what i was saying you say that i mean look at all them Be they're safe. all them electric uh, scrapers yeah mm -hmm. what did you say rick sorry Th that's all those um indian sites that scrape alexa i think um so i i, I always think this is bad when you've got like you know, you want your brand anchor to be like the main thing, but you really don't want it to be because of these links. <laughs> I agree. You know, totally um, agree. So yeah. I think I would disavow all them, really. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. obviously go through them, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, look at detox risk. It's 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 red, and if I saw it in the other direction, it's also red. Mm -hmm. So yeah. all these links range from two thousand one hundred to two thousand four hundred in risk. So that's more than I mean, a thousand. Just, so all of just, them are bad. Wait. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just disavowing these would probably put your detox risk at, you know, over your domain wide link detox risk at some point. Let's do it. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and, um, I, I, I do that just routinely. I mean, I just, yeah. you know, because it's, they don't, they don't do any, you any good. And, and yeah. they do, they will put you in a bad neighborhood because there'll be links to like casinos and porn and pills and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, totally. uh, what, what I notice is, uh, you're right, Rick. I, th I agree that this will probably bring the risk down to 900 or 800. And at this point, mm -hmm. I would consider doing some competitive research for your specific competitors. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, what I think I can say f with pretty much certainty is that you are in a market that is quite spammy anyways exactly. so all these other content marketers and link builders and, and 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 you know seo services here or there they have link building programs they have maybe some you know link spam from the past they have negative seo going on and mm -hmm. for that vertical you are already doing pretty good i've seen agency sites with 2000 4000 6000 even in this uh, series of wow. dynamics so what wow. i'm trying to get to is if we now bring the risk down already by 800 it could you know maybe to 700 it mm -hmm. could you know be quite okay already for that vertical mm -hmm. and if all the others on the top 10 or top 20 um have a similar risk or, or higher risk even then you're already doing great on the other hand compared to other agencies mm. 246 domains is not a lot i've seen Nothing. thousands yeah. or ten thousands of domains yeah. linking mm. and mm. that would be more bb's part to then work on um you know really good and as we said uh, trusted links to bring there because um we've also had that sometimes with clients optimizing and disavowing every link that you may be worried about sometime uh, ended up with some clients having no links left mm -hmm. you have no links left at all well that's mm -hmm. um that's, that's another problem yeah exactly yeah. so we don't want to overdo that um, although that's my third first name uh, yeah it's definitely a process and uh Mm -hmm. I think I think it would be fairly easy for you to get links from uh, sites that are actually about the content for your clients. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah. I also don't know. It also depends on what your ideal clients are and which niches they are in or industries. And because I, I see some marketing agencies, they don't they keep it very general. Mm -hmm. But you might want to look at where you could get the highest profit or something or you know and then you know what so you bring up a good point and part of why we could have spam as well is one of the industries that we do kind of niche down in occasionally is cbd mm -hmm. 
And so CBD has a good amount of spam as well. And um, uh, so, I mean, that could be it. You know, we've done link building for a lot of CBD companies, so maybe there could be something in there. Um, but my yeah. CBD affiliate block would be the perfect client then for you. I don't even know that. I, I, I yeah, looked at the website for what, 15 minutes? I don't even know. Uh, that good, point, or, or. good point. Good point. Good point. Yeah. There is so much going on in CBD. There are so many topics you could cover. Yep. And these people are looking for what if you make a resource that has all the regulations? I mean, that's a bit tricky, of course, because it changes. Well, we're starting so something. I'm not sure if it's on the page yet, but if you go to alchemyleads.com slash cannabis, Mm -hmm. I think there's a page and I was going to do more to it and make it like a, a like an, I was going to add like an industry serve uh, column in the footer and then put kind of like, you know, cool stuff we do with cannabis. Is it there or uh, let's no. see. Oh, no. Can, can, cannabis, it's indexed here. No, it's still indexed here in uh, uh, this is actually Bing. Let's check it on Google. Oh, shit. All right. So since the redesign, I guess it didn't change, but I used to have a cannabis page. Uh -huh. Now well, it's not found. Showing me all these issues that I have to fix right oh, now. Oh, this is great. This is all it is good. It is good. Talks. Yeah, I didn't even know this was a problem. Yeah, see, uh, you have, let's look at broken links. Oh, um, there's your target so pages. Yeah, there are many. Contact many, many. Alchemy Labs. Oh. leads, client testimonials. Uh, oh, not found. Those pages might not exist. Yeah, see, I would be, you know, when we look at uh, target pages having links, so where oh. the target page is gone, um, these pages here, uh, the, mm -hmm. um, six, they have some links or mm -hmm. redirects and should continue mm -hmm. to redirect. But the right so now, redirect to, ending. To, yeah. to like a home page or, or to like an yeah. Apple. Yeah. Yeah. So, for example, the slash contact here, you had a slash contact, and yep. uh, now yep. it should just go to, well, slash yeah, call. Yeah. yeah. I think that's one very important one, especially if yeah. you had that listed in some other pages. Um, so, Sean, did you, mm -hmm. sorry, um, Sean, did you say redirect them, redirect them to the home page? Yeah, to the home page or to the most applicable page, which would be best? The, the latter. Don't, okay. don't. Don't send them to the home page. Yeah, if it's a contact to call, and if it's you know a services to the same service. Yeah, or or, or even try and re, you know create another page about about a similar kind of thing or something. Mm, and um, fit it in within. You, the don't, you, don't, you don't want to send them to the home page because that's now seen as a soft four or four. Gotcha. Um, oh, right. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. That's Since 2013, actually. Super, <laughs> super yeah. helpful. Um, there's, an, there's another another anchor which is a bit weird in here, Christoph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the one that it's the one that says like it says website and it's got like a, I think it's a lowercase l at the end of it as well. Uh huh. Oh, there you go. oh yeah, I see it. Website yeah, with I a mean, with a v bar, a vertical bar. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, the, they're all dead, but um, yeah, it's like again, navigation maybe. No, that would be weird. I, I think it was yeah, a, a, a network of directory that's now dead. Oh. Um, but, that's mm -hmm. the sort of thing where like mm -hmm. you know they don't exist anymore but like even so i'd, I'd put them in a disavow file just because you want them out of the system you know mm -hmm. and um, yeah. and you want google to know that you didn't want that link anyway uh yeah. i think because it's a network and you know gotcha. uh that's just one thing no it's not mm -hmm. it's not life and death that one but it's uh mm -hmm. yeah it's something i would clear up anyway um, mm -hmm. you found one yeah, we're going to rate them. And uh, uh, keep. Uh, you have to be aware that sometimes there's only 20, 30 links from a network, and that could be the start of a huge avalanche of crappy links mm. coming your way. So when you start early to disavow those, mm. you already help us to spot those things in the future, especially if they are very, very, let's say, exotic Mm -hmm. uh, spam links, maybe even uh, manual work that uh, you paid someone to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've seen websites slowly building up more and more and more of those bad links. And then mm -hmm. at some point, the weight just, um, you know, goes in the wrong direction. Uh, there's an overweight of the of the bad links that hold you back as as a whole. Mm -hmm. And you want to avoid that. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, but I can't I wrote that down. Gone. Yeah, the cannabis page is gone, and yeah. the CBD. There is one one page, one page 
on this post about finding oh, linkedin we opportunities. Use CBD as a, yeah, yeah we use cbd as the example yeah but that's the only one yeah. and um, if you are the cbd link guy then it should be up there i would yeah, you know, right. i'm not talking about rebranding to cbd link guy but uh, <laughs> if, if if you have this um expertise and this uh, let's say this uh, this range of services specific for cbd then um why hide it yeah why it's, a, it's it? an amazing niche so yeah, yeah go yeah. for it yeah right legislation changes i don't know I, I'm, I'm not even aware how many states in the u.s already have that i th think it's like 38 now there was i think six just passed like this mm -hmm. past uh election i think like five or six just passed so it's it's in the high 30s it was 32 before wow. this election and now it's wow. it's gonna be 50 states soon i hope it's federally uh yeah. legal soon. yeah yeah, it's legal in Austria for many years, and uh, Germany is very strict already, and, and so something similar is going on in the EU. But wow. I know that in some states in the US, you even have a THC like real cannabis. Oh, uh, here, California, uh, legal. In yeah, California. yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I could just go to the store and get whatever and and do whatever. So I love it. I think uh, mm -hmm. I think that's the way it, it needs to be because you know you yeah. can drink alcohol all day and yeah, you know. yeah. But you could promote that as well, you know, maybe with a yeah. disclaimer, I'm not sure about the legal um, aspects of that, but if you're in that market, if that is your 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 passion also, then mm -hmm. I, I don't read any of that here on the website. Yeah. And, you're right. So I think I'm, I definitely have to add um, maybe an industry serve page or just like a cannabis yeah. services page. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Links Absolutely. for cannabis sites, links for CBD sites, links for yeah. THC shop, uh, THC. Yeah. So shops is that a thing i don't know totally. yeah but uh, so, so looking like a stoner isn't such a bad thing after all exactly. <laughs> oh, that's, true. that's true but I, I have i have so many clients as well who I, you know you just don't know until you get that trust uh -huh. so yeah. you never know like how many clients do you talk to where maybe they're a corporate client and the first impression of your long hair makes them think of like the eagles and they just stop talking you know so i wonder about that Sean, yeah. um, I mean, Jesus, look at me. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm picking, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking, overthinking. That's probably what I, I do that a lot. So it's okay. I just think you have a natural, um, natural, I say, capacity or whatever to really charm people. Um, even though you look like a terrorist stoner bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that's just the inside joke. If I was just some regular guy, I would have acted so offended, made you scared. People don't know that we're friends. We could do that. But no, uh, <laughs> I think I'm charm. I could be charming, but it's my voice. You know, I don't know. The face is just like, ah, uh, I don't know. I have a mental block. So this is not just links. A clinic, it's like a, a therapy. Clinic. It's like a psych yeah, clinic. yeah, a psychotherapist. Yeah. No, but uh, yeah. if, if if CBC is your market, uh, then you, the people in your market mm. should be comfortable with you, True. not some random corporate people from some companies that need discovery calls and demos yeah. all day long for six months in a row just to give you a little teaser project for uh, five thousand yeah. dollars that never goes somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Niching down and, and, and uh, right. specializing on a niche has served me well for the last 17 years doing only links, and uh, I can only recommend that. Yeah, I have a question me. for mm -hmm. the link detox for Rick and Crystal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, let's say you want to niche down CBD, right? Mm -hmm. uh, would it make sense to actually get CBD related, ugh, CBD related links, or what, would that mm. potentially cause a problem with your site? No, if this is for a CBD related services, why why not? Yeah. If, if a CBD store uh, writes yeah, about yeah. marketing, we could link to you. If if the story is right for the link, then that's yeah. all fine. Yeah. So you would have to double check the store if that's you know. Gotcha. There. And what do you think, Rick? Uh, yeah, I I agree entirely. It's uh, yeah. I mean, if 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 something's relevant, it's relevant. You know. Yeah. Um, what what I always tell people when they're thinking about links is like. You try and think of what the original purpose of a search engine is, you know, the, the, and uh, and then, you know, someone's typed in their keyboard something they want to find out about. Then they're looking at a page. And then, you know, the original idea of a link was like something that enhances their experience. So, you know, if they're reading about CBD, I don't know, for like recreational you know or, or recreational cannabis or whatever, mm -hmm. and they say, you know, find out more about this here. 
and they go there and they go to that site and then spend some time there, then I can only see that Google see that as a really good link. You know, there's, yeah. you know, someone went from there, went there, they had a good time there. And, you know, maybe they even went to a checkout page and bought something, you know, I mean, I mean, Google tracks all this, you know, and that link is probably like, to me, one of the best links you can have, because it's like, you know, it fulfills the original purpose of what a link should be, mm -hmm. as well as giving a bit of juice to the other site, you know, and, exactly. yeah. and I think if you can, you know, if you think about links that way, then it, it makes much more sense, you know. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I would agree with Christoph. And, uh, yeah. you know, if the story's right, then, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think it's so well said that everybody's trying to be really tricksy. But if you just mm -hmm. take common sense and, and, and place yourself in yep. the position of the guy who's Googling or girl, mm. then, uh, then you don't have to make everything so complicated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. It really have to be. Yeah. And, and, and that, that kind of theory explains why things like, you know, these, like, terrible directories don't do anything because nobody nobody goes to a directory and browse <laughs> not for the last it. 20 years you know what i mean there's a, you know if you think about you know what it's all about what a link is all about then yeah. it kind of makes sense why they don't help you know yeah, yeah. and um yeah so as you say bb you know there's there's you don't have to be sneaky to be, to get a good link you just need to be kind of I, you need to just think about what the original purpose of the search was, you know, and yeah. uh, how someone's going to end up on your site. Yeah. And, and for those people who end up on your site, they may want to see your clients. You had some client testimonials on this page, which is an error page right now, and you have a new oh, yeah. page yeah. where you have some testimonials um, powered yeah. by Clutch. I'm not sure if it's, is that some kind of... Yeah, that's actually one of those directory sites that you just mentioned. Uh, <laughs> agency directory sites, but uh, we're actually redesigning this site a little bit right now. So we're going to have this. And then what we're trying to do is above this, we want to put like um, some of our actual case studies that have a little bit more color, like yeah. where you could kind of like scroll through the PDF. Yeah. Um, yeah. And like kind of house like six or seven PDFs above that, mm -hmm. uh, above the embed widget. And uh, so, yeah, that's in uh, development right now. Okay. Cool. Uh, what what do you do on social? You you link to Facebook? Twitter, Nothing. Insta? I debate taking those links out all the time, but yeah, I take them out. Yeah, yeah, I debate it all the time. So I'm clicking me, here, and there is nothing. That's that's bad. I I'm think, clicking I here, and I see a post that. on Twitter yeah, from. Yeah. Okay, there's something going on on Twitter. So maybe you want to leave that in because SEO and Twitter go together. But here, um, if you're not on GitHub, um. Zero yeah. contributions in the last year. Yeah. What's the value of that link? And then True. Why do yeah, you I, people there? True. I agree. And I think yeah. we probably will take it out. And I think I hear that all the time that Twitter is like real for SEOs. So I guess I'll leave it in. But um, you but can yeah. have quite some drama on, on, on SEO Twitter too. But um, yeah. I think that's true for every social. Oh, for sure. Twitter no, but I'm, I'm just thinking as a potential client, you know, when I look at yeah. this and I say, hey, cool, they're on, on GitHub. Maybe they have some open source mm -hmm. contributions. And I just see that you haven't done anything on GitHub for the last year. I might wonder, oh, are they still around? Or maybe this is some leftover. Is this company real? Do gotcha. Real, 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 gotcha. One follower is, is nothing to show up either. So I'm not just sure. out. it doesn't make sense either from a business perspective and not a link perspective. Sure. Yeah. Um, and with that... I would say, you know, we have to round it up and maybe, you know, leave some 10, 15 minutes for another side, Sean. Oh, no. <laughs> that we works. spent quite some time. Oh, we have a question here. Sorry that I, yeah. I, I forgot to to, to show. Oh. Uh, here is uh, Thomas Danielson. Sorry, I didn't quite catch something. Oh, I know Thomas. Broke. Hi. Why ah. not redirect those broken links That's to right. the main page? Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah, uh, Thomas. Yeah, what it is is um, in 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 the past uh, before 2013, uh, if you had a, a link going to a page that didn't exist, you could just redirect it to the home page, and then that would pass link juice to the home page and therefore to the whole site. But since 2013, uh, Google said, and I believe them, uh, that that if you redirect to the home page. You know, for, say you had a link going to your domain slash cannabis or something, 
uh, and then you redirect that to the home page. Google then see that as a soft 404. So they basically see it as the page isn't there. So, um, so th therefore, you waste the juice of that link. So mm -hmm. the, the things you can do with it, you can either redirect to a, to a page that is relevant. You could uh, recreate a page that is, is relevant to the original page. Uh, what else could you do? Or you could even try and get the original link changed if, if that's possible. But, um, but yeah, don't redirect to the home page because that's seen as a soft 404. Yeah, and okay. that devalues that link essentially. Mm -hmm. So it's like doing nothing actually. Yeah. Um, Not good. A plus, if I click on that old link and I end up on their homepage, um, I wonder, it, mm -hmm. I might bounce. I might mm -hmm. bounce real quick, you know, if it was to some specific uh, topic. Yeah. Right? yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. All right, and uh, yeah, maybe to give uh, you your quick takeaway here. Still, we disavowed some links already. Remember, um, you always have to upload the disavow file to yes. Google, and then yeah. Google has to crawl it. Otherwise, the disavow doesn't work at all. So mm -hmm. um, they have to crawl all those links. And usually, when you disavow poor links. Um, these are the links that are not crawled very often. Mm. For that, we have Link Detox Boost to speed that up, mm. um, to essentially force the Google bot to crawl those links and make that disavow actually work. And that's, uh, so to say, a secret or a speciality that we have in Link Research Tools um, to, to speed up. Um, and maybe because uh, Sean's been so kind, yeah, yeah. boost it for him? <laughs> oh, yeah. If that would be awesome. You guys are professionals, yeah. you know? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, guys. OK. All, all right. right. Let's do that. Okay. And yeah, with that, Sean, thank you very much. And um, yeah, yeah. Awesome. BB, I'll nice. take you out. Uh, BB nice. and Rick. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, still here. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. No. What are we doing? Are we, are we done? <laughs> you keep shoving us around. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm on top. So. All right, guys. So let's look at. Uh, you have time for one more site? I know it's been almost an hour for for Sean, yeah. but it was for oh. interesting. Yeah, it's okay. Feedback. Um, I might do you want to do that? Point. <laughs> Bibi, do you want to do that Dutch one? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's so funny because I didn't expect a Dutch one to be in there. Uh, so I would like to do that one if okay. it's okay. So it says, that's Webton. I, I already struggled on the first page. Oh, no, is this an agency too? Strategy? Can you share your uh, screen, Christoph? Yeah, I can't see your screen. Oh, of course, of course. My screen is like, I'm on a tiny I, laptop. I always forget how, how. Oh, no, I did share. I just need to change the layout. Whoa, whoa. I have myself really big now. It's horrible. <laughs> so okay. look at these guys punching out of the screen. <laughs> what what is this website about? Uh, um, it, sports? It's a digital marketing agency. I don't know them, but um, I saw them in the in the thing because I don't know a lot of Dutch stuff, right? So this mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a horrible person for for the Netherlands in that term. <laughs> so, so, um, that's, that's what they all look like. <laughs> yes, that's what they all look like. But I really, I love this style. I loved it. I love how it has, you know, like I love Sean's design. I think it's really cool. But this site really shows the personality and uh, th their team page is also great. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what from what I could see is that hey, they have some pretty strong links. They also have some questionable links. You'll, mm -hmm. You guys probably see that. But um, I loved how they did a lot of content around answers to questions. So for instance, I think they're ranking number four for how to remove cookies or something like that. Oh, okay. Otherwise, yeah, those are not cool. maybe attracting the clients, but they're in the same realm, I guess. And they have a lot of content that's directed as clients mm -hmm. or leads. Or... So the people punching here uh, out of the screen are actual, actually team members that so. uh, you would be working with. So that's cool. Yeah, it looks like uh, a little bit like that. Like they're not like, like super shiny, polished uh, stock photos, but real people, actually. So I. Hmm. I like that too. Uh, the copy, oh, so, and, and this is a general agency. Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to click on auto translate. So, yeah, sorry. Translate pages from Dutch. What no, I just, uh, so, okay. 
winning with strategy so that i you know yeah what least... i also liked about the site was that they don't have a they, their text is really punchy as well everything's punchy mm -hmm. so the text is mm -hmm. there's not like long sentences or, or anything and they're also telling what you as a customer can gain you know by hiring them so it's focusing mm -hmm. on the customer and not necessarily on how amazing they are mm -hmm. yeah, yeah i don't know uh, sorry which is, I think, quite important. Uh, we see this in many site clinics where we, we look at a website and the website just talks about them. And yeah. the typical user is not interested in someone else. He has a problem to solve. So that is what uh, a website should tell me. I go to a website and learn what I can take away, what would be my uh, benefit. So we build brands and websites, all cases, online marketing, branding, yeah. brand strategy. Oh. Quite professional. So let's look at uh, the link profile then. Um, yeah. The dot I, I almost thought they might have gotten the idea from Answer the Public. You know that guy that's in there? That kind of yeah. reminded me of it. There's there's a couple of things I noticed about this one. Um, uh, it's got a lot of, um, oh, what you call it, uh, the globe spam. Uh, it's, it's got a lot of that. Yeah, let's fix um, that. But as well, if you, but as well, if you look at the um, if you look at the link location, mm -hmm. um, you'll see that it's got a lot of links in the footer, which is a, a really common thing with like web design companies where they put their links in their clients mm -hmm. in their client sites, um, and it is mostly SEO by Webton or mm -hmm. web design, you web know, design. or Bitdriff. What is this? Uh... What did the overall score say? Um, is that high risk? No, the overall score here said on 966. So that's, I would say, edgy. And on the upper end of the spectrum, uh, I'm guessing they still have competitors that have a higher risk than that. So in this case, what we what would suggest to do is to do a competitive detox for Webton versus those specific keywords uh, in the Netherlands. Um, the, the Dutch search keywords, I'm guessing, like web design, bitdrift, betten, bedrijven. <laughs> Sorry, Rick, what, what else? Bedrijven, bedrijven. It's, it's company, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. See? Um, what I'm surprised a little bit is uh, Webton is just oh, it's just the second most popular. This looks a little bit over optimized, and this is the keyword that you were referring to as well, Rick, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you, if you basically look at the, you know, the link location. Um, yeah, the footer. You said. You said? Where is yeah. that? Yeah, we um, we we see that here when we go to the link profile, you can have a link location. Uh, I already clicked oh, it. Wow. You can have oh, you're, you're... different types, and then you can look at the link location oh, in absolute numbers. Yeah, Rick. That doesn't look right. Okay, so there's it, it's not huge, but like um, even so, I did. You know, there's 172 there. Yeah. Um, it's just something I've 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 seen kind of web design companies, um, you know, wreck wreck their own SEO by um putting their money keywords in the footer of their client sites so yeah look at that's these. something i would something i wouldn't do you know mm -hmm. especially site wide you know yeah maybe some leftovers you know from from previous uh, uh years where this was still working on some of these websites uh they have uh, hundreds of sub pages linked yeah that, that's them. interesting because they say so i i don't really do a lot of Dutch SEO or anything, but I've heard other Dutch SEOs say that a lot of old tactics work still work really well in the Netherlands. So, for instance, maybe the footer links, but also uh, directories still work really yeah. well. Yeah, might, yeah maybe might do it. Start parking. Yeah. Sorry, the what? Start parking. Yeah, yeah, the directory. Yeah, the start pages. Um, maybe that has also to do with Google also not being aware how to pronounce bit bit raven, bit bit, <laughs> bit raven, right? <laughs> Just being the the language different, and that 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 that's the case in many, um, let's say, non-popular languages. 
so I would say, you know, after English, e even German, uh, German SEOs get away with a little bit more with uh, the majority of uh, engineers in Google focusing on, on, on English language. And in Dutch or, or let's say in Finnish or in Hungarian or, or Czech or Slovak or Slovenian, um, you, you can do a lot more things. So that's where those SEOs localized to that market uh, make good yeah. money with uh, stuff with, with tricks so to say or with tactics that uh just stopped working uh for english markets many years ago yeah. so yeah. Well, that, that, that was that was how our, our guy um what's his name chris christian bolen oh uh, yeah uh, christian yeah. bolen yeah mm -hmm. yeah great great guy he's he's uh he's he, I think he's actually Belgium. from Bel Belgium. Belgium, yeah. yeah. Belgium, yeah. Belgium, Belgium living in uh, uh, Spain, Barcelona. I think, the last time we talked. Yeah. Yeah, from Barcelona, I think. And uh, he, he does, uh, like, kind of, uh, what do you call it, um, you know, casino gaming sites, uh, 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 slots and all that kind of thing, uh, all in Dutch. And uh, he does great, you know, really good. And, you know, he's always said that, all those old old uh, old school techniques all work fine. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, so yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. Yeah, it's so funny because I'm I'm for one of my clients I'm link building in another language that I don't know, and uh, but I hired somebody to do it. But um, I still have to check stuff, and it's so weird. It's Swedish. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Swedish, lovely. It's, and, yeah. and, and how do you do that? How do you build links in a language that you don't even speak? We yeah. translate back and forth again, and I and I train the the the, the friend is is actually a Swedish person, so mm -hmm. I kind of train her, but it's a little bit different because normally I recruit somebody and I train them, but this is just somebody I happen to know that talks Swedish, so it's a very different. Oh. <laughs> okay. But she did surprise me, like how well she's doing it. So I was really surprised. She's actually a massage therapist, so stereotypical, but you know. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, well, you know, yeah. It, <laughs> if, if your training BB helped her build links in, in Swedish, maybe you can do this for other languages. We get inquiries all uh, all day or at least every oh, week cool. for, for all sorts of languages. You know, do we just recently, not Polish, uh, what was that? Some I have a Spanish speaking uh, team member now as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah these, cool. these are the more popular ones, but I also get some 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 really weird ones for, for yeah. countries, you know, really small. Uh, but if you are able to take someone who knows the language and make them a link builder, then I think this would be your asset, maybe, to, to go for international link building. Uh, it's, yeah, it, I mean, I'm happy that it's... There's certainly a market for that. But there's so many, um, mm -hmm. how do you say, there's so many um, switches that you have to go through, so many steps extra, that yeah, it's been a really... Oh, you hear me? I'm not sure. You were frozen. Oh, how am I now? Am what? I not frozen? Yeah, moving? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. So I I know it's possible because I I've I've done it now, but it's it takes a way more time than uh, normal. So it's really really hard. Oh, now Christoph is gone. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> he, he left us all alone, Rick. All right. <laughs> Right. Shall we wait till he's back, or I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, well, that, that, that yeah. foreign language SEO stuff. Um, when I was in Chiang Mai at Matt Diggity's uh, show last year, uh, Charles Float did a did a talk about foreign language SEO, and he was he was doing stuff, uh, you know, like I don't know, like car insurance, but doing it in Swedish wow. or. Or, or Finnish, and but he was saying, you know, at that point, you could chuck any links you like at it. You know, you could use your GSA or your SE Nuke X, and you could just build spam to, uh, you know, a, like a Norwegian car insurance site, and it would rank. And uh, he was doing really well. But I believe that all changed. Yeah, I believe that all changed in the last 12 months or so. And, uh, oh. and Google obviously got a little bit wise to it. But I believe certain aspects of it still work. You don't have, you don't need really good links. You know, you can use Web two point links and junk like that. You know. Yeah. 
But yeah. Anyway, if you're get working back. In, in countries um, that have different rules, we even have a feature for that. And uh, Rick, you know it uh, because you've been using it for PBM building many years ago already. Uh, that the link detox tune where you can say these types oh. of links are okay for this client. And actually oh, right, tweak yeah. that algorithm where you can say like with an equalizer, um, let's say um, article directory links are okay for this website. And uh, that, of course, affects the calculation then for your website and for other websites that you analyze. Uh, That's great because you're not, so you're not tied to whatever you think is. Uh, yeah, yeah, healthy. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for instance, Turkey comes to mind where you also um, have link directories and article directories still working. Um, and yeah. Google, obviously no interest or, or resources to, to fix that or to learn that language, you know, Hungary, right. Finland, um, very complicated languages and a small market, small market share um, for the search engine, right? Yeah. I guess lots of money to be made for SEOs doing it right. And so they certainly have an advantage. All right. So, but looking at um, this link profile here, um, what other you things can, come to mind? Chat, right? This guy from Webton. He's not in the chat. No, I see Craig. I see Itamar. Hey, Itamar. Hey, Craig. Hey. Hey, we, guys. We've almost got a band. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, you know we should do. I'm not sure what the limit is on stream yet, but maybe we could do a, a site clinic with like ten people in there or so. Um, All right, let's so, do uh, let's, uh, help Webton. <laughs> yeah. So do we, do, do, we know, do we know what this problem, what this, what this guy's problems are at all? Um, did they mention a pain they have? No, they did not. No, they okay. did not. And they submitted their site a while ago. So I'm guessing, uh, okay. I think we looked at that website briefly here because you see that drop in risk here maybe uh, in June. I don't remember that, but there was a time when we tried to, you know, spend really only five or 10 minutes on a website and I don't remember oh, yeah. those. Yeah, but we probably disavowed some of those, you know, virus links, malware links. And what we see here is that over the summer now, when we look at a website again, the risk built back up. So that mm -hmm. is an indicator for me that they should actually, you know, keep their tracks of the backlink profile. Maybe it's certainly not the three virus or malware links. Nobody wants those. But the negative SEO pattern here is yeah. something that I don't have a good feeling about. I, I would guess that, um, and we would know it better if we would be working with them uh, on a monthly basis, for example. Yeah. It's um, it's probably that globe globe spam as well because um, oh yeah we disavowed that one as well. Mm -hmm. I think that's like the third most popular anchor. Sorry, I think globe yeah. spam. What is yeah, that? Yeah, um, if you look at the anchor text cloud, Christoph, mm -hmm. and then you see about the fourth biggest one. It's three seven one one three five dot. Yeah, yeah. and it's all them the world's most visited web page uh, you must have seen them <laughs> well, just bring them let's let's open a couple of those right yeah they're, they're, they're all the same it's just a it's just a massive network of um of pages and they're just like oh, a sorry. list <laughs> 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 sorry. Oh, oh, oh. But, but generally they're just a list of stuff like this and then uh, yeah they do redirect sometimes to a cpa oh. offer or in this case to something. some to some porn chat or here uh, uh, betting and i guess that's their business model that they okay let's close those nope. sites again <laughs> this is not I'm safe I'm for I'm work. yeah I hope, I hope there's no kids watching oh yeah no i will we'll get a notification from youtube probably that they blocked it for a non-safe but i always mark the videos as not for kids so oh, okay. uh, we may cut it out um, yeah, but working in those industries is tough too, for uh, for for men usually. So there is all sorts of image blockers and video blockers that take away the imagery and the videos, so you can actually focus on the websites and the technical SEO and the links and the content <laughs> around those. Uh, I I speak from experience. We had some very <laughs> large clients in that in, in, in all verticals. We should do a whole site cleaning on them, on all those. 
Oh no, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, well, maybe with the image blockers and the video blockers, that would be okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, yeah, but looking back at the uh, dear, yeah. So this is the globe spam. This is what yeah, um, uh, you mentioned, and this is a typical SEO pattern that we that we know about that we know can be disavowed semi-automatically or almost automatically. So um, we actually plan to introduce some automatic disavowing in the future too for those type of rules that you can define. And when you have a pattern like that, that they automatically end up in a disavow file. That's and, nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, SEO by Webton is also one of those um, really, really popular keywords. 1,268 links, and I would say you don't want links saying SEO by Webton. That's what Rick uh, says, right? The footer stuff, or is it something else? Yeah, these are they, they seem to be in, in the content. Let's look at some of them. Ah, and, uh, let's, oh no, they're even gone here. Uh, some of them are gone. So let's look at. <laughs> Oh, no, these are all links that were already removed. So that's um, a, a good example. Links from websites that are not there anymore. Yeah. Like where we could verify that they are deleted. It does not mean that they're not part of the backlink profile anymore. Like all yeah. the other tools just say link deleted, forget about it. Mm -hmm. But these links are only not part of the backlink profile if these 1,268 links were recrawled again. So depending on when these links were around and when they were removed, um, they might also still be in the system of Google. They're until like ghost, they were ghost links. Ghost yeah. links? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ghost links or, or link. Um, ghost Some... links. Li link echo is one word. I, oh. I, uh, one term that I heard um, defined for that. And if these... Fun. Yeah, and if these are links that uh, you have a bad feeling about, we always recommend to disavow those as well. Because if you have them disavowed and then run link detox boost, you can check that off your list. You know that these links do not count anymore yeah. for a fact because you disavowed them and you made sure the disavow gets crawled. So those links are out. Um, yeah, I think it's good because not, not even if they cause harm, but they also cause static just for yeah. you when you're doing detox. Yeah. It just yeah. keeps yeah. coming up a static. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, Rick. The, the, there, are, there, are, there are some links here um, with, with a kind of Chinese anchor text. Um, oh. And particularly the ones on my m, m dot subdomain. So um, if you can, if you can, search for in the source url if you can search for mm -hmm. forward slash m dot mm -hmm. so okay. so let's go to the source url and right. forward just, just slash m then a dot uh -huh. full stop okay wow. just that uh oh look at that right now these ones that have the uh, be careful opening them because um, mm -hmm. what generally happens here, in my experience, this, this is a new kind of spam I'm seeing. Um, mm -hmm. What they seem to do is it's usually a, a domain that gets hacked, and it's usually like a subdomain, like usually the m dot subdomain that gets hacked, mm -hmm. and then they they create content, uh, and it will be related to your keyword. So that would be like the Chinese for like web design or something, you know. Um, and they 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 seem to get a load of RSS feeds from from comments, and then they combine them all together to form a page, and then they put usually a betway or a bets three six five some kind of sports betting offer in Chinese on top of it. Um, uh, it might be a little bit dangerous to open one because I think there's a lot of porn and stuff in there, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. but generally that is something I would definitely look at. Um, because there's some quite nasty links there, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and, and they are they are hacked sites. So, yeah, um, that, that, that's something that really needs cleaning up as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That that's quite rife at the moment. That is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So that's yeah. maybe why it raised in in risk in uh, lately. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just a kind of spam that's like everywhere at the moment, you know. And I'm seeing quite quite innocent sites get um, you know links on on well on sites that have been hacked, and then yeah. but then they'll be redirecting to these kind of casino and sports offers. Uh, but they'll have uh -huh. porn and stuff on there and uh, chatterbait and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't want that. Um, well, maybe you do, but not on your side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you, you know with this, where everything's legal. <laughs> <laughs> if it isn't, if it isn't legal, just make it legal. <laughs> exactly. You know us so well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, but with that, uh, you know, when we look at that, this just happened October 21. So uh, that's roughly three weeks, three, uh, what? No, roughly a month ago. So I would doubt if that already had an effect on their rankings. Um, we would know it better if they would be in the call, but uh, uh, it's not something that I'm too shocked about. You know, if you do your audit every every month, if you look at this and you find these toxic links showing up, you can disavow them, upload mm -hmm. a new disavow file, and then you're gone. Are you done uh, for the next weeks? Um, I would say because they are an agency that is successful and very visible on the web they naturally attract all sorts of spam all sorts of yeah. negative SEO yeah. from everyone who tries to rank for stuff that they rank for and so i would say they're victim of their success like many others in a way and can take care of it themselves or yeah. um what usually comes up then sometimes is a, a client saying yeah but google said we're gonna take care of it for you mm. i'm not sure what do you think about that rick you want to say something about uh, Google taking care of uh, bad links and penalties? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm going to say. I, I I just don't trust. I don't trust them to do that. And um, I, I I don't know if anyone saw the uh, the presentation I did on Mad Singer's uh, 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 conference the other day, but that's not yeah, out we yet. Talking... Oh, isn't it? No, it's Sorry. Soon. Oh, oh, okay. Um, but um, um but on, on on that we were talking about all these kind of like coupon spam and all that sort of thing and you know and i was saying i'm pretty sure these aren't good and he, he confirmed that he's seen his client sites uh, his client sites get their traffic wrecked just by having all these coupon sites and if you bear in mind they're usually a no follow link anyway um in theory they should be fine but they're not you know uh people get punished yeah. for them no, it's not their fault. But that is the theory. And uh, I, I, I always tend to say here, you know, even if Google would try to give their best, they cannot catch it all. Simply. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't know all the languages, they don't know all the businesses, they don't know all the verticals. Nobody's, I've never heard of someone being responsible for having the perfect um, search algorithm. 99.9% .9 of Google employees are selling ads. And the guys that are building the search engines are smart engineers, but they don't have the strategic goal to make the perfect search engine in every country, in every language, in every vertical. And that's why, you know, the rules are so different in different combinations, yeah. especially smaller languages or smaller countries. Yeah? Um, it's next to impossible. Or if you even think they would be doing that, um, can you trust that they do it fast enough for your business or do you want to you know clean it up yourself and take care take things under your control this is what i uh, prefer to do instead of hoping for the best yeah and, don't you get really yeah. paranoid though i mean or is that not an issue what was that don't you get really paranoid that you have to check your that you feel like you have to check all your links all the time or um you have no, to check no, your bank no. account and your credit yeah, card no. statements anyways all the time. You know, maybe your accountant does that, yeah, right? Maybe it's not for you, but every business has all sorts of checks going on. Yeah, know? it's true. I'm just thinking about websites, you know. 
what can possibly go wrong will go wrong and it will be on a friday night before you have uh, your birthday weekend and so <laughs> yeah. every website could give you that anxiety uh, so yeah i guess you know after some years messing around with websites and google you are blind to that i, can, yeah. I guess i remember my first patreon updates in 2004 four or so when lots of the links that are sold were actually devalued by one point or so and i was super super anxious about all these discussions that people suddenly wanted to pay less for those links and, uh, but i guess you know after some years you just grow out of that yeah good all right so um yeah. it's been almost one and a half hours. I'm, yeah, uh, I'm dead. I'm brain dead. I'm, I'm brain dead <laughs> too. And, uh, you know, uh, the disclaimer missing, I didn't mention that today. These type of site clinics, these type of audits are a taster. We're looking for the low hanging fruit. We're just throwing ideas at each other, but this is not a complete full audit. If you hire someone for a full website audit, be it technical content links or everything combined it usually takes a lot longer so don't expect someone to just poke around on your website for 20 minutes and then you're done we give you ideas we show you how easy it is to find you know obvious problems and i guarantee you the deeper you dive the more time you spend on looking the better it will be or the more you will find that's for sure amen yeah. So that's, that's a disclaimer. <laughs> Maybe I'll record that for for future use. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Play it off really fast, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, we have all kinds of features in here. You know, when I when I look at these features, I totally forgot about the banners where people oh, could yeah. ask questions what's, what's or called? scrolling <laughs> around. I don't know. That's scrolling just around, banner. scrolling around. <laughs> oh, we're waiting for questions. No, but with that, I say thank you very much, BB, and thank you very much, Rick, yeah, well, for being on this show. It's quite fun. And I thank look you. forward to having you in the future and wish you a nice evening, everyone. And I'm getting swag. Oh, yeah, 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 the swag, of course, Sonia. <laughs> don't forget about, don't forget about BB. And, yeah, uh, yeah so Rick. Jelly, so <laughs> <jelly>. <laughs> oh, All right. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Yeah.